My name is Daniel Ryan Day, and I work with Reclaim Today, which is a part of our Daily Bread Ministries. And we help people connect with God in the ordinary, everyday moments of life. Today's passage is Psalm 23, verses 1 through 3, and here's how it reads in the New Living Translation. The Lord is my shepherd. I have all that I need. He lets me rest in green meadows. He leads me beside peaceful streams. He renews my strength. He guides me along right paths, bringing honor to his name. This is one of the most well-known psalms and draws on David's experience of herding sheep as a boy. I love this passage, first because my son raised sheep for several years. So when I think about a shepherd and David as a boy leading his sheep, I see my 11-year-old out in the pen. I see the sheep following him because they know his voice and they know that he will feed and take care of them. This psalm is a beautiful example of how God cares for us in our everyday ordinary lives. And it's also an example of how we can see God in our everyday. Just by paying attention to something as mundane as animals, God invited David into an interactive knowledge of his heart. What David saw in his love for his sheep, he sees in God's love for us too. And when we know the heart of God as our shepherd, we can find peace in the presence of fear. We can find security in the midst of our enemies and our burned out souls can be restored. But as much as we may highlight the invitation to rest in Psalm 23, being able to say with David, I have all that I need, does not come naturally to us. Learning to trust God and be content, it's hard. The success of others, nonstop advertising, our social media feeds, the inclination of our own hearts, they've shaped us to be naturally jealous and discontent. Even rest, as good as it sounds, can be hard to embrace. When God leads us to green meadows or peaceful streams, like in verse 2, we still have to allow ourselves to rest and let our strength be renewed. And if your rhythm of life is oriented around achievement and success at all costs or consumption, even entertainment, you'll need to be intentional about rest and practice it as a spiritual habit that realigns our hearts with God's desire for us.